Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, Chidima Ojuku, the prime suspect in the murder of Super TV CEO Usifo Ataga, has been crowned Miss Cell 2022 at a beauty pageant held within the Kirikiri Correctional Facility in Lagos State. The pageant was conducted to mark the 2022 International Women's Day. The embattled student of the University of Lagos is currently facing trial for the murder of late Mr. Ataga, who was stabbed to death and left in the pool of his own blood in a hotel in Lagos on June 15, 2021. At number four, media mogul and presidential aspirant for 2023 Dumebi Kachiku on Wednesday congratulated the Senate for its courage and patriotism in thrashing a bill seeking to amend the Electoral Act 2022. Kachiku, who is the chairman of Roots Television Nigeria, in a statement in Abuja, described the action of the senators as a bold and heroic act. Recall that President Muhammad Buhari had in a letter to the upper chamber on the 25th of February 2022 requested the lawmakers to expunge Section 84, Subsection 12 of the Electoral Act. However, a federal high court sitting in Abuja in an order barred the President, Attorney General of the Federation, Senate President, Speaker of the House of Representatives and other critical stakeholders from altering the Act. Despite this, the bill was passed for first reading on Tuesday by the Senate. However, Senators voted overwhelmingly to reject the bill on Wednesday during its consideration for second reading. At number three, a tanker loaded with petrol exploded at a mobile filling station in Idioro in the Mushin area of Lagos State on Wednesday. It was gathered that the fire from the explosion spread to an adjoining three-story building, burning down the property. The fire was said to have started around 1 p.m. when the tanker laden with 33,000 liters of petrol was discharging its content at the filling station on Agege Motor Road. Property worth millions of naira was destroyed and many occupants of the building have been rendered homeless. At number three, the police command in Kaduna State says its operatives have arrested 200 suspected bandits and 20 armed robbery suspects between January and March 2022. The command's public relations officer, ASP Mohamed Jalige, announced this during a news briefing at the command's headquarters on Wednesday in Kaduna. The police listed items recovered from the suspects within the period to include 18 AK-47 rifles, 2,000 live ammunitions of different caliber, 11 pump action guns, 10 locally fabricated pistols, 140 shotguns, 12 gauge cartridges, 7 motor vehicles of different brands, and 9 motorcycles. At number 1, the Senate has confirmed the nominations of five commissioners in the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission. The nominees were confirmed on Wednesday, following the consideration of a report by the Anti-Corruption and Financial Crimes Committee. The confirmed nominees are Senator Anthony Abo and Otelafu Ode, Alahaji Goni Ali Gujba, Dr. Louis Solomon Mandama, and Olubenga Adeyonju. The chairman of the committee, Senator Suleiman Abdul Kwari, said there was no adverse security reports or petitions against any of the nominees. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands, and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.